What I do, what I do, what I do. It's Jimmy Lusk, and we are back for a video on how to make a grilled cheese sandwich. At least my grilled cheese sandwich. There's nothing special, it's just Jamila made it, and everything Jamila makes is made with love, so I'll show you how I do it. a returning visit for you thank you very much I greatly appreciate it if it's your first time and you've hit the watch button because you saw my thumbnail thank you very much a little bit about me my name is Jamila I was recently diagnosed with hypothyroidism which made my life a living hell and I'm currently in the process of learning how to eat and care for myself so I can be 100% better right now I'm about 30% um, I just finished making a video on how to make a tomato soup in the Phillips automatic soup maker So check the links below or the cards up there somewhere and see how I make it because it is really good I decided I'm going to do a grilled cheese sandwich So I'm gonna have to let you know what I'm using um, So yeah, so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button pay attention take notes and of course share it when it's all done um, grilled cheese sandwich is pretty easy. You just need cheese, bread, and an oil. That's it. So I'm using this uh, rustic sourdough bread. I've had it for a couple of days. It comes in a half a loaf, so it's perfect for me. Um, believe it or not, I can eat sourdough. It's one of the only gluten products that I can eat. And I think it has to do with the fact that the wheat is fermented. Um, fermented stuff is very good for gut health. So I do eat a lot of fermented foods. I do prefer this particular style of bread, like a bakery or a San Francisco style bread over like a loaf style bread. I don't know why, it just it tastes better to me. So that's what we're doing. We are also going to be using Monterey Jack cheese. I did recently, I actually just grated this while the soup was making being made i personally cannot use pre-grated cheese so it has to come on a block and i have to grate it or slice it myself we will also be using a little bit of coconut oil coconut oil good for your hair your skin your nails your stomach although i can't use it in my hair it breaks my hair off um, it dries out my skin <laughs> so i can't use it either i learned this a long time ago and it clogs my pores so no using it on my face but it does help me have bowel movements and since hypothyroidism really slows down your metabolism natural laxative and the other thing i will be using is ghee i love this stuff it's basically clarified butter so it's butter that has like been melted for a really long time and like all the water is out of it it's salty. I have no idea if it has any vitamin D. It would be amazing if it does have vitamin D since I was told I need more vitamin D in my diet. So we're gonna get started. Okay, since I pretty much eat like a bird, we're gonna take one piece of bread. One piece of bread, and I'm just gonna fold it in half to get it to kind of hopefully break in the center. So that's pretty much, so I have two pieces two pieces and then what I'm gonna do is on the inside I'm gonna hit it with some coconut oil and the only reason, the only reason why I'm putting coconut oil on the inside is because I'm hoping it'll help me pate have a bowel movement because constipation is very real and it is not fun especially when laxatives don't work so, as you can see I put a nice generous amount on that piece of bread and put another generous amount on this side of bread. And this again is going on the inside, not the outside, because the outside is getting butter, or as they call it, clarified butter, or the best thing in the whole wide world, ghee. All right, so we're done with that. We're gonna put this off to the side a little bit. I'm done with that. And yes, I do use paper plates 
and I do use plastic goods and I am ruining the earth and I'm aware of it I'm okay with it next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my stove on and I'm gonna put it on for medium high. I'm gonna start it on high actually just because I want to get this butter ready to go and you could put as much of this stuff in as you want I kind of want a little bit of a lot and then until I start seeing it like turn brown like right there that's perfect that's probably about a teaspoon get it all the way around although I really don't need to I will then I'm gonna drop the heat down to medium and I'm gonna put my first piece of bread on then I'm gonna add my cheese and again you can add as much cheese as you want I shredded extra cheese because Artie will need to make his grilled cheese when he's ready And then you put your other piece. Oh no, I don't think I did this the right way. I did not on top. Oh well, yes I did. And I just push it down. And you just let it cook until the other side, until the side is pretty golden brown, you just let it cook. And I do push it down. Um, I want to make sure I get a nice golden brown on there. This is not the safe way to do it, people. You should definitely be using a spatula or a weight, but I'm gangster like that. So we're doing it this way. At least for now. You see it sopped up all of that butter which is so good for me because natural butters like coconut oil avocado oil olive oil butter lard tallow but but uh, duck fat not butt fat <laughs> duck fat um, all of those things do help you have bowel movements so I do try to use as much natural um, fats as possible. I'm going to check real quick to see what it looks like on the other side. Oops. That's a little hot. Oop, it's golden brown. So now what I'm going to do is get a spatula. And I'm going to flip it over just really quick so you can see what it looks like. Look at that. Perfect golden brown. The cheese has started to melt already. And what I'm going to do is lift this off, out of sight, out of mind, but it's still right there. And I'm going to add more ghee. And I'm going to turn up the heat again because it's that nice hot heat that gets you that golden. Oh, I made a mess and I just cleaned the stove. Ooh I should have used the spoon, but be completely honest I wasn't thinking okay turn the heat up and it, like you can literally see it starting to turn brown and that's when you want to put it in put this back on I'll turn down the heat and this time I am going to use the spatula to push it just because it's hot and I'll move it around because I'm technically frying the bread. And if you've never had fried bread, oh my God, you are missing out in life. I was watching something. I don't even remember. It was so long ago. And this girl took a piece of rustic ciabatta or something like that and fried it in olive oil. And ever since then, I've been like, fried bread. It's really good. 
and like this is pretty much done if I turn it over you can see it's done it's nice it's golden brown it has that crispy outer layer the cheese is melted I don't need to do anything else so I'm gonna turn this off and we are gonna have grill oh wait where if it's cut this off that's it that's it that's exactly how I make grilled cheese sandwiches it's short sweet and to the point it took a couple of minutes now what we're gonna do is combine the two videos together I decided to do two separate videos so click the card up high or the link down below to see me tasting the tomato soup and the grilled cheese sandwich